Alrighty guys, in today's video, I'm exposing, or I'm, let me explain what I think will happen within the crypto market, guys, right, in, in, for the coming months. Now, pay attention, this, 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 this definitely isn't financial advice, but I would appreciate it if you guys liked today's video, thank you. Because I think, I, I truly, this, this, well, this is just my base theory, so you, ha you must have, like, your own um, thesis, guys. If you guys don't, then you're going to get eaten up alive, right, because of emotions. So... If this happens good, if it doesn't, then um, we're going to. I'm going to come up with something new, guys. But so this is the market cap USDT dominance on the two weekly. Why two weekly? Because it's very important, guys. So what am I seeing right now? I investigated. I, I looked at this chart yesterday, guys. Right, and and did and did a little bit of charting. What I think. What I think. What I think. What I think will happen, guys. I think this will dump. Remember when this. Um, when the dominance of USDT dumps, guys, right, money's flowing out of stable coins, out of USDT into Bitcoin, into XRP, into Ethereum, into your S coin and meme coins. So this dumping is very good because that means the, our cryptocurrencies will be pumping, guys, right? So what I think will happen is we're going to see this dump, right, to like this under 3% level, guys. Whenever this happens, I think there's going to be a bullish divergence here and we're going to skyrocket. Why? Because here's where the black zone occurs. Right, and 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 at this point, guys, I'm out. At this area, right, um, whenever this makes that next leg down, and then Bitcoin creates that next leg up, all coins as well. I'm out of everything. Pertaining to to XRP, guys, I'm going to see what happens with with XRP at this point. Now, if XRP creates a new all-time high, I'll cash um, a good amount out. Okay, like ten dollars, let's just say. I'll, I'll, I'll sell. I'll most definitely sell, guys, because I could just buy it back in during the Black Zone event. Um, this just a theory, not financial advice. Now, if XRP does not create a new all-time high by like two, three months from now, by two months from now, guys, I'm probably just going to sell 30% or so here, right? Just as a hedge in case, and then I could just reinvest that back here, guys, when XRP dumps again, right? When, when the whole crypto market dumps because of some type of external event. Now, the reason I say that this is the path it will take, guys, right? So after that black zone, this thing is going to probably just die, right? Just die because this is where... The insane money printing will begin, guys, and everything, right? And Bitcoin will probably head to 300k plus. Um, so I'm truly ready, guys. And and it, by the way, if this happens, right, it's going to be the same move as this, guys. Uh, where Bitcoin was, I think, at 40k, went to like 70k, guys, right? So if this happens like this, it's going to be a bullish divergence on the two weekly, and I'm out, right? It's because it's going to pump thereafter, the stablecoin market. Um, for the dominance, I mean, I mean. Okay, he, he, this is how it all ties in perfectly, guys, right? So I think, I literally think I cracked the code, guys. This isn't a joke. This isn't a joke. If this actually happens, right, exactly how I'm predicting it to be, uh, we're literally going to be called legends, right? So this, this once again, this isn't financial advice, guys, but we may have data to prove and, and to back it up. Why? Bitcoin ETFs took $888 million yesterday, the biggest day of influence since uh, of flowing into the market, guys, right, of this money um, flowing into the market since launching. Wave 1 of ETF inflows took Bitcoin from 37k to 73k. Wave 2 of inflows is just getting started, guys, right? That happened right here. That's the move I was just talking about, right? If the same exact move happens again, we're topping out literally in a month or two max. Um, 100k is on the way, guys, right? And, and, and for Bitcoin, I don't know how high Bitcoin will go, guys, but all I'm looking for is a, a bullish divergence on the on my indicator, guys. If I see this happen, right, uh, some type of bullish divergence, then I'm out. That's all, right? But we go higher first. We must go higher first. This isn't financial advice because breaking GameStop short sellers have now lost $2.1 billion today, guys. You can't make that stuff up. What? Right? kill all the shorts the bears are getting slaughtered right in every asset guys it is very possible for roaring kitty to become a billionaire guys if gamestop holds above 65 dollars tomorrow right this happens in the ending phases not early stages right of bull markets ending phases guys but for the overall cycle we're not it's not done yet right for the overall cycle it's not done yet guys why 2025 right here guys right this this the dominance on the stablecoin market cap is literally going to die right 
I don't know how low it will go, but it will definitely go super low. Why? Again, it all ties in beautifully together, guys. Please like today's video. Thank you. Because look, 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 listen to this. Money printing has started again, okay? Whenever they print, Bitcoin goes parabolic. They only they only expanded the M2 during a what event? A black zone event. This event right here, where, where Bitcoin went from 9k to 3k. Now, if we see Bitcoin rise to like 90k, right? 100 something k. And it goes like this, guys, right? What does that mean? Well, that's when they start the money printer, the money printers again, guys, right? Look at that. They they print it right here. So it's going to be the same exact thing, guys, right? Like that. But for Bitcoin's price, it'll probably just have a V-shaped recovery like this, guys. Consolidate, right, for some time. Then in, in the year 2025, guys, it's going to be ready, right? For the money printer, we'll just go something like that. But first, keyword black swan event triggers the money printers to become alive again. Do we not see, right? This happened during this phase, guys, right? When we see it expand again, Bitcoin is going to expand ridiculously crazy, right? But first, we need in order for that to happen, black swan event must enter. How do we know we're close to one, guys? I'm not. I'm not making stuff up. We look towards the data, the data, the metrics, the the history, right? Because everyone, everybody asks, what will the Federal Reserve do with rates? Bad question. Better ask is, where will market yields go? Wherever they go, the Federal Reserve follows. Really, it sure seems that way. Check this out. So, so this is the United States government bonds two-year yield. Okay. Now, I may have to do a little bit of research, or not research, but more so charting on this, guys, to see if it matches up with, I'm see with what I'm seeing as well. Uh, but for now, let's look towards the, the different indicators he's using, such as RSI. Interestingly, the two-year yield, guys, dumps, right? And the Federal Reserve starts cutting the orange line. Look at that, guys. When the, when the two-year yield dumps, the Federal Reserve starts cutting. Interesting, like, they proceed, uh, the two-year yield proceeds... Federal Reserve cuts, it seems as, right? Look at this over here as well. Interesting. The two-year yield started dumping here. Look at the Federal Reserve uh, cutting rates afterwards, guys, right? Due to a black swan event. And what's about to happen now? Well, listen to this. This is the nature voice once again, guys, right? Well, I'm going to take advantage of this uh, literally 100%. I don't care anymore. Okay. Bearish divergence. Literally, this is on the month. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my gosh, guys. Right on the monthly charts. We're seeing bearish divergence forming. That's ridiculous, right? If we could see perhaps one more pop, then a dump, that would be insane. But right now, it's following what 2008, literally the same exact thing, guys. Right, bearish divergence, and bearish, bearish divergence right here. Look at that bearish divergence, guys. Right, you can barely tell, but it's there. Um, I think. And, and and what happened after guys a black zone occurred 2008 housing bubble pop right this means something else is coming i'm guessing some due to war perhaps um not to mention this as well guys right every time when a three month sma rises above its level from 12 months earlier guys right look at that right there it rose um the blue line it rose, um, it rose, the, it, which is an SMA, guys. It rose above its level from 12 months earlier, right? Whatever it does, um, it, it triggers a recession thereafter, guys, right? This means it's soon, soon, soon. A, I'm about to take fully, um, uh, full advantage of it, no matter what. This is a financial advice, so listen to this. How do we know we keep going higher after the Black Swan event? Because cryptocurrencies is literally, literally targeting the world. Justin, Robinhood CEO, says, We believe crypto will fundamentally reorganize the financial system. The financial system, you may say? Exactly. We're not talking about here for a little bit of market share. No. To put a dent in the universe. Right? To re reorganize the financial system. What will that do? Pump XRP's price magically high. Everything as well. 
Wait, why? Because Justin Star Standard Charter Bank says Bitcoin will reach 150k if Donald Trump wins the presidential election. Are people going to front run this? Right. Who knows, guys? But possibly. For now, we go higher before anything does occur. Then we still go higher because that's the second wave that's going to be incoming, guys, of them buying. First wave is right now. BlackRock buys 4,900 Bitcoin and the price hasn't moved. What is, it, what is that? Hundreds of millions of dollars, right? Probably over the counter preparing for this next move up, guys. My forward guidance for 2024 and 2025 has not changed since October 2022. What does that mean? Rise into uh, April 2024 having having around um, S2F model value 55K. Pump after having, and then bit twenty twenty four Bitcoin crosses one hundred k, right? Maybe before the blocks on events. I'm hoping so we could cash out, guys. Um, twenty twenty five reaches STF target of whoa half a million dollars. What did we talk about? Exactly. This looks very beautiful, guys. Because look at this. Where are we at right now? Um, we're here. We're right here, guys. Right. We pump like that. Black Swan. We go higher to to twenty twenty six, right? 500k or whatever the math the math is guys the math says bitcoin will be 350k from robert kiyosaki by august 25th 2024 this is not a lie whoa that would mean a, in a couple of, wow if that happens guys that's literally a blow off top that's nvidia right there what nvidia is doing right now right vertical it's a it's a prediction it's speculation it's an opinion but it's not a lie it's sucker's bait but it's not a lie because any prediction about the future is not a lie. I want 350k Bitcoin to be a fact. I want it to be true, uh, but it is only a prediction. I am confident Bitcoin will hit 350k sometime in 2024, but it's only a target, a dream, and a wish. I keep buying more Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana because uh, quite cer certain their prices will continue to rise. Why am I so confident? Is it because I am certain about Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana? My answer is no. What I am confident of is the incompetence of our leader. Wow right of our leaders and um he talks about how they're trashing the system right killing the system itself which means money will be flowing from everywhere else guys to cryptocurrencies either or by next year it'll be extremely high guys but i just want to make this trade because why not i see it right it's, it's clear as day in my opinion but that isn't financial ways look at the adoption taking place right now breaking binance resumes mastercard payments for crypto mastercard has over 1 billion global users and it operates in 195 plus countries guys this is massive right these are the events that will propel us higher and higher and higher even if it's a black zone or not guys but money prints and qe will ex literally explode it to new heights never ever seen and thought about before right first things first this happens slowly and then all at once institutional DeFi. right um talks talks about decentralized finance guys cryptocurrencies and this happens slowly then all at once right institutional DeFi. it is what it is guys and all at once seems like a flip of the switch to me exactly that is a financial advice but i'm ready to see what happens next and there we go wow things are getting we're about to get pretty exciting aren't they guys i'm ready are you not financial advice what do you say to your face see you